Hello friends. This video is going to be on Sparklines. Uh, Sparkline was introduced in Power BI I think a uh, couple of uh, months ago. I never used it and recently in one of my report uh, I was working on a project for one of my client and I have to use uh, Sparkline. And when I was using Sparkline I used Sparkline in, in metrics uh, in a table visual. Uh, we filter the data for a year. Now the Sparkline uh, data was also filtered for that specific year. And my customer asked that if we filter the data for a year, we want the Sparkline to show the data for all the years, regardless of the what um, year we pick in the slicer. Um, that turned out to be a little bit of a DAX and modeling trick uh, to make it work. Let's look at Power BI. So here I have a table visual uh, which is showing sales by product and let's say I want to add a spark line to show sales by year for each product so it's pretty straightforward I can go into my values add spark line and then pick my measure which is already sales and then I pick the year column from my calendar table alright so here create and this is great. So now what we are seeing is it's uh, showing us the trend uh, because I have only few years of data and it's showing us the trend for a, each product by year. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to spend time in beautifying uh, high and low points in Sparkline. But uh, the point what I want to bring in this video is now we have the sales by year, a Sparkline here. And if I have a year slicer, let's say if I go to 2018 or pick a one year in my slicer and uh, see what happens now sales is of course filtered for that one year and also now the sparkline is filtered for that one year uh, now this does not make sense because we want to see the trend of uh, sales by year for each product but we want to see the sales of the whatever the year we select so unfortunately this current scenario does not work and to overcome this uh, we have to make few changes. One thing is we have to add another calendar table in our dimension uh, just for the purpose of this to, to use the column from that particular calendar table for the spark line. And then we have to write another measure and to tweak that a little bit. So first let me show you what uh, table we need to add. Well, what I did is um, in this one I have a calendar table. I with the with the DAX I added another uh, table um, here you can see it I call it calendar for sparkline and it's just a copy of my calendar table and uh, one thing I did here is which is important uh, I created the relationship between calendar and for sparkline and calendar table and the the attention you want to pay here is that you want to make sure this relationship is uh, coming from calendar to um, calendar from sparkline from one to many by default when you will create a, this relationship it will be one to one with the cross filter direction to both sides because when you create a relationship one to one the cross filter direction is always both it is never single like if I quickly just show you that by default when it when you create this relationship it is going to be like this way actually one to one and both and this is what we don't want we don't want calendar table to filter calendar for sparkline and uh, that's why we don't want this relation to uh, we don't want this relationship so double click again when you create this relationship first time it will be one to one we want to make sure it is uh, in this case many to one calendar is on the top many to one and then the single and that's an active relationship so what you're going to see here is we want calendar for sparkline on one side and calendar on many side and the arrow pointing towards a calendar dimension. So it means calendar for sparkline will filter calendar table. Once this is done, so that's the first part. Now what we need to do is we need to write a measure which will be used for the sparkline. So I'm going to um, add a measure. And what that measure will do is, so let me call it sales sparkline. So what we're going to calculate 
take our sales uh, measure which is just a sum of sales what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the filters what is on the calendar table so in this case our year is the the calendar table is this year slicer is from calendar table so remove filter will remove the uh, the year filter and but we need to apply the filter back what we're going to do is I'm going to go keep filter and then we're going to use uh, keep filters calendar for spark line but I'm typing wrong here remove filters keep filters uh, okay sorry here so we're going to remove filters and then keep filter calendar for sparkline what does that mean is if we use a column from sparkline table um, it will uh, keep the filter for that particular row contacts uh, so this will be our measure here if I use this measure quickly show you what this will do as in a value uh, I'm going to change its uh, decimal places to zero so that doesn't show up everything. So let's bring this measure to our matrix view. So what you see here is now it is giving us the sale for all the years um, for each product. Like for example, if we take a look at look at the total sale, it is 7.2 million for the 2018 and but for sales for sparkline is 30 million and if i remove the filter i think these both will be the same 30 million so that's what it is right um, so let's go back to 2018 so now our sales sparkline is showing the sales of all the years so what we can do here is now use this measure as our uh, sparkline so what we can do is go on sales sparkline and uh, add sparkline and uh, in this case what we're going to do use is we are going to use year column from the calendar for sparkline not from our regular calendar table why we cannot use regular calendar table because we are filtering our regular calendar table for a specific year like in this case 2018 in the slicer we don't want that slicer to affect that uh, the sparkline so let's use the year from our uh, uh, sparkline table and create so now what you will see here is you have the spark line. I'm going to remove other uh, columns to, to keep it cleaner. So now you can see we have a, a spark line for uh, even we have filtered for 2018, but we still have a spark line for the uh, for the each year. Uh, now it, it brings as you can see one challenge. If the, if the year we selected does not have the sale, uh, since our sales sparkline by year is showing the sales for all the years, now uh, this, these products, uh, if I filter by sales, I guess, uh, other side. So all these product, they have the sales, but they don't have the sales in 2018. And uh, now it means this is working as expected, but we don't want to see this spark line because there is no sales for the year we selected. So it means we need to further tweak our um, measure. So what we're going to do here is, and going back to sales spark line measure, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another measure. So uh, selected uh, sales. So whatever the period is selected. So what I'm going to do here is, Calculate my sales. Ah. And what I'm going to do here is all selected calendar. So give me what happened here. All selected calendar return. Make it a little smaller. So what I'm going to check here is if selected sales actually, if note is blank. selected sales then give me uh, the sales otherwise don't give me the sales so let's see how this made a difference and I will explain this what this part of the code is going to do so here you go now we don't have any product 
now we, uh, in other words, now we're seeing the spark line for only those products which has the sales for the selected period. Let's say if I select 2020, when we go uh, 2020 to 2020. So now we are only seeing the product which has the sales and the spark line is still showing for all the years, like whatever four or five years of data we have. Um, now going back to the um, that particular measure which I tweaked, I'm gonna show what that measure is doing. So let me just quickly show you guys here on the new page. So let's do the same thing. We put a product on our um, visual here and let's put the year which we are using for the spark line on our um, metrics visual on columns and let's put our sales regular sales by year here so what we're going we are seeing the sales by year this is perfectly fine even we are using the year from the calendar for spark line table but this is still working the reason behind that is because the calendar for spark line is filtering the calendar table so this is all working fine so uh, let's put a year slicer which is coming from our regular calendar table maybe i make it uh, less it's easy to work with so if what happens is if i select 2018 so now only we see the 2018 this is what is was happening and uh, but what what the measure the change we made to the measure let me go back to the sales spark line I will pick this particular code from here, what we used here, maybe create another measure, uh, just testing. Sales for testing. So I'm just copy the measure from that uh, uh, Sparkline measure where I said calculate sales all selected calendar. So now see what happens when I drop this measure in our matrix visual. So now what do you see here is on each year the, the, the now we, you're seeing the two measures here. Let me put it on rows so that's easy to compare. Show on rows. So what we are seeing is the sales like for example this first product sales uh, the mountain hundred black we have selected the year 2018. It has the sales in year 2018, which is 169509. Actually make it uh, zero in the decimal places, easy to understand. So, so that particular product has a sale in 2018. So even we are filtering on with the sales for testing measure, which we created, we said all selected calendar. So basically whatever the calendar periods are selected, what the calendar means that this calendar is coming from our calendar for Sparkline. So because in calendar for Sparkline, all the years are visible because we are putting the slicer on the calendar table, not calendar for Sparkline. And these columns, the, the column we used in the matrix, we used from calendar for Sparkline. So 2012, so it's all selected. So we are getting the same value for all the years. So for each product, whatever this value is, so we're getting all the all the years this is what we needed and then when we went for our uh, sales spark line uh, measure what we did is first we calculate okay give me the sales uh, whatever the year I selected have that sales for each year and then if that sales is blank let's say if any of the product does not have the sales in 2018 and that means I don't want to show the spark line for that product and we check this and then we are we are only calculating we are doing this calculation only when there is a product has a sales based on the slicer the year we selected in the slicer now uh, the the reason I use keep filters calendar for spark line all columns not gave the year tomorrow you might want to use a different column for the slicer you also want to be see a, a different column uh, on the spark line uh, by month or whatever so this measure will be will work in any of the column we use from the calendar table either on the slicer or on the uh, spark line uh, on x-axis um, 
so we have this solution. Uh, again, um, you, it looks pretty simple out of the box, like creating a sparkline is a very easy task, but when you start putting the slicer around it, it does not work as you expected. With this, I hope with this particular demo or the example, uh, I showed you how you can, uh, with a little bit of a change in the model by adding new calendar table and improving, a, writing a new measure for your sparkline, then you can achieve your um, goal for uh, creating these kind of sparklines. Let me know what you think about this video. Um, there's a few more videos I will be doing soon. Uh, do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.